Okay, so this is like my fourth take of trying to do this. I think the light is stressing me out. It's just, it's hot. Hey you guys, this is episode four of converting our shuttle bus into a tiny home on wheels. Today we're tackling the kitchen, kind of today, nighttime. Um, and we basically had started the renovation for our kitchen and then decided we hated it. So we're just gonna take you along the journey of from where we're at. It's kind of framed up, kind of not in the middle of it, but uh, comment any questions you have for this video or maybe something you did special for your kitchen if your bus is already renovated completely and subscribe, it really helps us out a lot and give this video a like if you like the video. I hope you enjoy, bye. Okay, so our first step is to cut each piece of the frame to size, ours is like 34 inches and seven eighths. And then um, we'll be putting a piece across all of the beams to make it really sturdy. Uh, we had initially like put in each beam and then within each beam there was a piece that had to be connected it wasn't like all one piece it was like separate from each other if that makes sense it's gonna be our first step is to cut install and then from there we have no idea that's all we know right now <laughs> Okay, so it is the next day and we both need haircuts. Bad. Bad. I need my hair dry. But so I wanted to kind of go over this. We had kind of, you saw in the time lapse, we had problems with the squareness of the um, refrigerator. So it would be like this side would be flush with uh, the refrigerator and then this one would gape out a little bit more. So I had to go in back and fix that and then square out the top with each other. So honestly, biggest tip is square everything, level everything and check it twice. She's probably a lot. Look at her. She's just sitting right in front of it. Um, but right now, we're trying to get the kitchen and the bed in, and then hopefully finish up the front today. We were supposed to finish up the solar panels and the fan, but that's not happening, so we're doing what we can for right now. Most people start with just plywood and do only plywood, but I think for us, we needed that frame to really solidify like where our vision is. Um, but I like it. It's looking good. It's probably gonna get finished um, tomorrow and then we'll do the bed tomorrow. And that solar panel and the fan, they're still the ones that we're trying to get done, but it's, it hasn't happened yet. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so right now we're making cuts for our drawers. We're not going to make the drawers today. We're just making cuts for them, but we're gonna be putting a beam right here and then a beam right here to divide our drawers. And then this is gonna be our little mini pantry and it's gonna slide out. And then we're putting our kitchen uh, sink right here and then our stove is right there.
just finished the basic framing we still got all of these to put in backwards that way and then we've got to put in the oven I don't know if that's gonna be today just because we don't have that much daylight left and we're kind of exhausted we've been working a few days in a row on this bus build um, but tomorrow we'll hopefully have it finished so because it's been a long day what we're about to do is use those two by two or the one by twos and stretch them across the ceiling, for example, like this. And I would definitely recommend getting one by twos. They flex real easily. So it would go just like that, and then we would screw it in to the ceiling. And that's what we're about to do right now is cut the cut each piece to length. <laughs> cooperating so we're gonna do that tomorrow but right now I'm gonna go eat a freaking ham sandwich and rest because we have a full day of work tomorrow so we will see you then bye so it is the next day it's like 12 o'clock it's kind of flat outside uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on us but we are finishing up the bed and the kitchen today <laughs> working with the other pieces of wood and it's not leveled so you're seeing us doing that right now um, but we are using two by fours and just regular inch and a half screws <laughs> that you see right there a little bit off it's like 
what, an eighth of an inch off, or maybe five, five eighths, something like that. So we have to cut that, and it's kind of been a pain in the butt, but we're gonna figure it out. And like I said in the last video, and like I'll say it again, measure twice and cut four times. Cut four times. so much trial and error with that piece of wood it's finally in um it does look a little bit low we still have to add like an inch of insulation around it just for safety calls or reasons so that's what that looks like for you Our bed is in! Well, it's not completed yet, but oh, what are you doing? <laughs> but y'all, it's in. I'm so excited. Um, we still have to make the top part for like, you know, where you lay across. But it's looking right. good. <laughs>